Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to create the part modeling and also prepare the draft for the given part using the Solid Edge 2023. So we need to create the 3D model of the part that is shown below and also generate its principal views in the first angle projection. So this is the part that we're going to generate first. And this is the direction in which the part is going to be viewed initially. So this is the front view of the part. So the front view of the part is nothing but a simple trapezium. So I can tell that by looking at the features, it is going to appear as a trapezium of longer edge being 100 mm and the shorter edge being 40 mm. And also the height of the trapezium will be the sum of all these dimensions that is 70 mm. But however, in the right side view of the trapezium, we have got two cutouts of 40 mm cross 20 mm and 30 mm cross 20 mm and all the cutouts are straight and they are through cutouts. So now we will see how to create this particular part using the solid edge modeling version. We will begin with creating the new part. Let me select the front plane. I'll select the line option and move the cursor over the ZX plane so that the plane is locked and is selected for drawing. So now we shall begin with drawing the lower edge of the trapezium, which is of 100 mm dimension. And the total height of the trapezium is 70 mm. So I'll take the height of 70 mm from the midpoint of the 100 mm line. And since this is the midpoint, the upper edge is 40 mm. So from either side of the center line, let me take up 20 mm. And I'll join the slant edges of the trapezium and complete the trapezium. I'll go to the trim option. This line was just used for the construction purpose. So I'm going to delete this line. So I might get a different uh, texture on the upper edge. So in order to avoid that, I'll just trim this two halves of the line and make it a single line of length 40 mm. So hope this step is clear. So now we'll go for the select option. We'll select the outer surface of the trapezium. By keeping the scroll button of the mouse pressed, let me rotate this and protrude this to a depth of 70 mm again as per the given part diagram. So now you can see that the trapezium block is ready. So this is the front view of the trapezium block but however as i said in the right side i can just see that i need to have two cutouts of 40 cross 40 and also 30 cross 100 so in order to create that what i'll do is i'll go to the front view then let me select the top plane so as you see in the drawing so these are the two ribs of 15 mm thickness so i can just create a 40 mm line from the midpoint of this particular edge of the trapezium so i'll select the midpoint so 20 mm on both the sides and it is a true cutout so i will extend the line so from here again a line of 40 mm So I'll use the trim option, trim this line and join the line. So now I've just created this particular so I've created this uh, square cutout so 40 cross 40. So 
So the smart dimension will give you the dimension of this cutout that has to be done. So as you can see that on both the sides, if you just go for the smart dimension or uh, use the distance between this endpoint and this endpoint, it is 15 mm. And similarly here, from this endpoint to this endpoint, it is 15 mm as per the given drawing. So with this in mind, now we'll go for selecting this particular square. And now this is a cutout and it has to go to a depth of 20 mm. Okay, so this has been a cutout for the depth of 20 mm, but however, the surfaces on either sides of the trapezium block shall be removed. So for that, I'll select this, right click. I'll select the surface, right click. And select delete. So this and select delete. So now you can just see that I've got the square cutout. So I could have done a cutout by selecting or drawing a square. I could have done a rectangle of 40 cross uh, 40. okay so now you can just see that the square cut out on the top surface of the trapezium block is ready so now it is time for us to do the cut out in the bottom surface of the trapezium block so for that let me select the front view again and now keeping this front view let me select the bottom view of this particular trapezium blue is you can select this particular option so you can just see this line is showing the cutout within the trapezium block. So now we need to have the cutout on this particular uh, surface that is uh, the bottom surface. So for that purpose, let me go to the front view again, select the right plane. So in this right plane, let me do the square of 30 cross 20. Sorry, let me construct a rectangle of 30 cross 20 so that I can have a square, a rectangular cutout throughout the block. That is one thing, or else you can just have the bottom view and then go for the line option. So I'll be selecting the midpoint on the extreme edges of the trapezium block. And from this line, let me draw a line of length 15 mm. And then complete this rectangle 30 cross 100. Select the trim option and trim the center line and also this 15 mm line, complete the rectangle. Select this and then it has to have a cutout to a depth of 20 mm as per the given data. So this completes the block. So this is the block you can see, which is ready with the two cutouts. So this length is 20 mm on both the sides as given in the sketch. And this is 15 mm. So we'll keep it in the front view. So we'll measure this distance. You can go for distance between. So here again, let me change this to the gray body mode. Okay, so you can just see that the block is ready with the two cutouts on the bottom and the upper halves of the trapezium. So now let me save this work as exercise four.
click save and to generate the draft of this let me go to the new option and select isometric draft right click on sheet one select sheet setup change the sheet size to a4 and tick show background click on save defaults click ok and fit the sheet to the screen so select on view wizard and select the part name that is exercise 04 click open so now you can just see that the front view of the part is ready so by default it is the first angle projection so i'm getting the front view however if you're not getting this you can change the views here so right uh, select this drawing view layout and select the name view so select front click ok so i'm getting the front view the corresponding side view of the part and the corresponding top view of the part so go to the sketching window select the line option change the line thickness to point 18 mm draw the xy line and also draw the x1 y1 line select the annotation change the font style to times new roman so label this as x y and this is x1 y1 so again select the line of thickness 0.18 mm so from the point of intersection draw a 45 degree line so go for the angle between measure the angle between these two lines change it to 45 so the line is ready so now generate the side view as per the standard procedure so draw the corresponding projectors and generate the front and the top views so this is from the upper cutout and uh, this dotted line indicates the lower cutout so it will run up till this end point so draw the projection line so now this is how you show the connections between the front and the top views of the generated draft and then for reference purpose keep these two lines ready so that you can move the side view part after having taken the lines from this top view part so so now it is uh, ensure that this web has to be placed over this distance so i'll select this view and select move option ensure the copy is off correct so keeping this as a point of reference i'll move it along this line so this is how i generate the side view so you can complete the side view by drawing the projection from the other end of the trapezium block So this completes the procedure to generate the principal views so go for the text symbol and name the views so this is the front view of the part this is the top view of the part and this is the right side view on the left profile plane So with this we complete the procedures so you can just show the dimensions so the height of the trapezium block can be shown in the front view and the extrusion uh, width of the trapezium block is shown in the side view here and also the distance of the pockets can be shown here in the front view So it is understood that this center distance is 30 because 70 minus 40 is 
30, you need not have to show this. And then you can show the dimensions of the web thickness, which is 15. And similarly, the thickness of the web in the lower graph is 20. And the cutout in the upper half is 40. And here it is 30. So arrange the dimensioning in a presentable manner. So this completes the draft of the given 3D part. Thank you all for watching.